In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the features of the transaction button. Once you press the button, you will see the options reprint, void, retry, price override, and suspend. We'll start off with the reprint, so press the reprint button. The screen that is displayed is the reprint window. On the left side of the screen, we have filters to narrow down the specific transaction. In this case, we're going to press the Any Company, Any ID button. Next, we need to enter our search criteria and press OK. Now the transaction we are looking for is in the middle of the screen, so just highlight it and press reprint. And then from there, just pick whichever printer you want it to print to, and then it will reprint your transaction. Next, we will perform a void transaction. Void transaction is used for cash and fleet card purchases. So what you'll do is you'll start off by pressing transaction then void and now we have the void window up this window is similar to the reprint window just select the transaction you want to void press void confirm it is the correct transaction and then press OK after you hit OK the cash drawer will open up hand the driver their change back and then from there just close the drawer hit OK and then it'll ask for you to select the printer for the receipt Retry transactions will generally occur if any of the driver's information is correct from a prior transaction. So when a failed transaction occurs, the response line with an error code will display and will also print a copy. This will tell you what is wrong if, say, the driver ID is missing um, or incorrect, truck number is incorrect, etc. To retry a failed transaction, press the transaction button and then retry. If you have more than one failed transaction, a list will display that you can select from. However, if you only have one failed transaction, it'll just go ahead and select it. Once the failed transaction loads, you will notice that you have Retry Now, Edit Products, and Retry Later. If you simply want to retry a transaction, just press Retry Now. If you need to remove a product from a transaction, or if you need to change the method of payment, press Edit Products. The Retry Later button will hold the transaction until it is completed. In this case, we are going to press the Retry Now. The transaction will fail since this is a test environment, but if the transaction was successful, a prompt will display asking what printer to use. Return transactions are for product returns or to cancel out a credit card transaction. Um, first, you'll start off by pressing the Return button on the right-hand side of the screen. You'll notice that it will highlight orange when it's ready to go. Next, you will create a transaction to return, so either scan the product or use the department keys on the left side of the screen. In this case, I'm going to return a general merchandise item for $14.99. After creating the transaction, you will notice the balance due field has a negative amount. Simply press Customer Credit Debit if you're returning to the card. Have the customer use the pen pad to complete the transaction. Um, if it's a cash transaction, just press the exact cash button. Override price is pretty straightforward to override the price of a product or a department button. Um, first start off by ringing up the product. Next, type in the price you want to change it to. Then press transaction and then press price override. The Smart Desk has the ability to hold a transaction. If you need to hold a transaction while a customer finishes shopping, you start off by pressing the transaction button followed by suspend. Um, this will hold the transaction for as long as you want However, while the transaction is held, you cannot exit out of the point of sale. Uh, you will notice that the exit button is now missing. Um, to resume the transaction, just uh, simply press transaction again and then press resume. 